Hey, my name is Dustin, and this is my story. I grew up in uh, Southern Virginia in uh, kind of a rural town with a mother who drugged me to church every Sunday, me and my sister, and a dad who didn't want anything to do with faith until much later in life. And uh, didn't really understand what the whole purpose was. I thought that we just kind of went to church once a week uh, because it was the right thing to do. And when I was 11, I had uh, some Sunday school teachers um, who were uh, very influential in my life and they kind of showed me that it's not necessarily about a ritual it's about a relationship and from there at, at age 11 in a really really small church I decided to give my life to the Lord and trust him with it um, but still not really understanding what that meant didn't really have a whole lot of opportunity to kind of dive in deeper to that um, I kind of wandered through my teenage years pursuing a lot of things in music and, and things like that and, and relationships and uh, right around the time I was 17 or 18 I decided that hey I need to get serious about this thing and uh, went off to college and kind of rededicated my life to, to serving Jesus and um, since uh, since knowing Jesus it has been a struggle it's definitely not been easy uh, but I can tell you the difference is that I have a lot more hope now um, I've been through uh, struggles with anxiety and depression and uh, learned a lot about uh, what's okay um, in, 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 in walking through that. Um, what's okay, it's okay for Christians to struggle with stuff like that. It's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to stay that way. And uh, so I've been learning a lot uh, since my walk with Jesus um, has started. Um, and uh, and walking through uh, some very difficult times uh, but the hope uh, is what I want to share with you um, without Jesus there'd be no hope in these struggles uh, they would be just uh, just struggles uh, with no light at the end of the tunnel and so that's my story